Oh, hey. How you doing? It's Henry. I'm Mowers and Blowers. Welcome to another episode of uh, lawn tractor flipping, eh? So uh, yesterday, as you know, my plans yesterday was to uh, do an engine swap. 13 horsepower flathead Briggs single cylinder engine that I got from uh, a tore down LT4000 Craftsman that had a uh, fractured and cracked front chassis of the frame. So I stripped that one down and uh, kept some of the parts, dumped the rest of the carcass. Uh, I don't know if that engine works or not. It appears that it, it works. Um, it's been put on the side a lot, so uh, a lot of oil had come out and flooded the carburetor or whatever. And uh, so I have it in my garage ready to put on a Murray Select 13.5 um, 40 wide lawn tractor. That lawn tractor is ready to go, you know. It just needs a new engine. The old engine has 75 PSI, which I'm going to take off and, I don't know, probably use it for parts or maybe if I get a hold of uh, intake and exhaust valves, I'll, I'll put those in and it uh, may help with compression and get that engine running again. In the meantime, uh, while I was going to do that yesterday, a couple of people wanted uh, to see my Troy build. Um, Super Bronco, Pony, whatever it is, right? And uh, both of them had carburetor issues, so I couldn't sell it the way it was, right? Uh, so I spent all day yesterday replacing two carburetors on two Troy built ponies. What's with the Troy builds, man? They're not very reliable, actually. My friend Andy over in Jericho has one too. He doesn't have many problems with it. Um, so today, my plan is also to do an engine swap on that Murray, right? Um, it's been pushed back a little because there's so much interest in lawnmowers now. I mean, I'm getting nonstop lowballing, you know? Uh, I actually accepted a lowball offer yesterday because that I just wanted that mower out of my yard. So I got $65 for it. It's a self-propelled old craftsman push mower, you know, but it has front self-propulsion. And also the engine runs really well. And the bagger is just like trash and stuff, but guy didn't care. He just needed something for a small yard, you know, so it works out for the both of us. Good deal for him. Get rid of one of my things, you know. And uh, there was a dude from Westchester County, upstate New York in Mamaroneck. That's pretty far. Probably... Uh, before the coronavirus thing with traffic and stuff, take you two hours to get there, you know? But um, anyway, dude is want, wanting to buy his first tractor. Uh, I showed him a video of this thing running, and so he said he wanted it. I had this listed for $575. Uh, we agreed on $450. I'm all right with $450. This is the 14 episode uh, 21 horsepower Briggs Opposed Twin, the one that I rebuilt. Uh, it's the 46 cubic inch engine, which I tried to put 42 inch com uh, components into it and it didn't work right. So it's a rebuilt 46 cubic inch opposed twin. Uh, runs great, you know. And uh, I painted the hood. I, I don't remember the other stuff. I might have put ATF into these tires and stuff. <clears throat> and uh, by the way, you know, you guys know that ATF works great for slow leaks in tires. Right? I fixed probably nine, no, actually 11 wheels now that had slow leaks. Just put about eight ounces of, uh, eight or 10 ounces of uh, automatic transmission fluid. I even used the semi-synthetic, so it works, you know. Um, almost 100% um, success rate on automatic transmission fluid. So no more fix a flat or slime for me. I mean, uh, if I had to use uh, an inner tube, I would, but for slow leaks, automatic transmission fluid. Uh, my friend Larry came over yesterday and told me about um, why automatic transmission fluid works for tires. I'm not ready to tell you yet. <laughs> but anyway, I have to get this uh, tractor to the front. We're gonna practice social distancing on this sale. I already told him he has to have a mask and gloves on. I'm gonna have a mask and gloves on. We're gonna stand 10 feet apart, right? When he pulls up with his rented U-Haul trailer, which he's renting today. So look, with sales like this, you know he's gonna take it because he just spent money to rent a trailer, a couple of hours driving gas and tolls to come down here. He's gonna leave with it. So I'm pretty confident this will sell today. Of course, other things could happen. This engine could blow as I'm pulling it to the front. It could blow as I'm driving it up on his trailer. 
Anything could happen, right? It could not start. And then the sale's off. That's okay. I've got plenty of other tractors that I can let them have. Um, shout out to Huey Neary in Ireland. That's right. He PayPal'd me uh, some money for a couple of stickers to put on his tractor over there in Ireland. So uh, my stickers are making it globally, man, all around the world. Thanks, Huey Neary, for uh, buying my stickers. And thanks for watching Mowers and Blowers. Uh, here are a couple of pictures that he sent me. So here we go, I'm gonna start this up and bring it to the front of my driveway. It's got a battery from October 2019. And I actually, I think I had this running the other day. Full choke, clutch, middle throttle, here we go. ATF shine would never hurt. That's all you need. Just a little a ATF. So as you guys saw, uh, the guy actually came as I was shining it up with ATF, you know, and um, 
really nice guy. You know, he came all the way from Maranek, New York, which is uh, probably 40 or so miles. Um, it's expensive to go up there because uh, you got to cross one of the bridges that crosses the Hudson uh, River. And uh, pretty expensive. Um, our tolls for the bridges are ridiculous. I don't even know how much it is because I refuse to go on them. <clears throat> I think it's like 15 or $20 round trip to get on it, you know, maybe more. Uh, gas is cheap now, so no big deal. But he actually rented a pickup truck that had a U-Haul trailer on the back. He was going to just rent the trailer for 20 bucks, but he, his dad's uh, truck didn't have a hitch. So he had to rent the, the van, uh, sorry, rent the pickup truck with the trailer. So this is going to cost him like $150, $200 just to pick it up, you know? I mean, I find it hard to believe that um, you couldn't find a tractor in his neck of the woods. I would think that you would maybe even cheaper you know what i mean but um i told him uh, as with all used equipment man you know uh, you just got to take care of it you know it was his first tractor ever uh, i showed him exactly how to work each thing you know the safety features of it uh never to engage the pto um at low throttle you know you always want it at least mid to high throttle um clutch brake lever the uh it's a manual too so he has to learn how to slowly move the clutch out while it's in gear, you know, things like that. Um, but I didn't want to get too complicated, you know, for a first timer. I'm not going to, you know, tell him how to take apart the carburetor and stuff like that. You know, um, he's got YouTube. You can watch it, you know, but anyway, uh, so I was going to get started on this, but guess what? Um, my mom, she's almost, uh, 79 or 80 years old, you know, and as you guys know, she lives by herself in Queens. And uh, while she had plenty of supplies, you know, for the time being, my wife just went shopping again, and so I've got a lot of extra. So I'm going to go bring her some supplies like milk, toilet paper, bread, fruit, uh, meat, vegetables. She likes Doritos, so I'm getting some, some chips, some, some pe uh, peanuts, some, you know, stuff that she could use, you know. I, I know she, she doesn't want to impose because she has enough to eat, you know, but I want to get her some more stuff because we just went shopping. So I'm going to bring her some supplies today. I'm not even going to see her. I'm just going to put it in a box and drop it off to her. When I come back, I'll get started on the engine swap. Look at here. Who's here? It's Frank, the UPS guy. What's going on? Elbow bump. We uh, stay six feet away. What's going on, man? How you doing? I'm doing all right. Good. So uh, I'm on my way to my mom's house in Queens. But then I got a, a text message from Frank, the UPS guy, and uh, he says there's something interesting at this address nearby. So I'm going to stop by at that address and check out what he saw uh, that he thinks I should uh, go take a look at. Aha! Uh -huh. There it is. Looks like a leaf blower. It's a leaf blower. MTD. Air sweeper. Looks kind of new. It's interesting. Looks like it's in good shape. It's not that new, you know why? Because it still has this old model um, brakes. Well, I've got all these supplies from my mom. So I'm gonna have to put it in through the side. So I got it in the side, it was pretty heavy. Uh, I think I know why he threw it away. The handle's broken. So maybe if the handle is just broken, maybe this thing will start up, no problem. Maybe. I can fix that handle. I have lots of snowblower handles. Anyway, off to my mom's house. So I just uh, dropped off food at my mom's and uh, my buddy Andy that lives in Jericho, the guy I go on vacation with, uh, one of my best friends, he, uh, his washer broke, you know, his clothes, you know, washer, right? Uh, washing machine, uh, it broke, so he had to go buy a new one. But the people delivering it to them said that they can't go in the house because of coronavirus. They can only drop it in your garage. So uh, he needed to get the old one out and the new one in. So I just went to his house and, uh, mask, gloves, and uh, helped him move the old one out and the new one in. Uh, 
<laughs> I also stripped the his old dryer of its uh, wiring harness and uh, rubber hoses because you never know when you might need that stuff. You know what I mean? So uh, I'm off to uh, go get something else because uh, there's this guy on Facebook Marketplace who had like a Murray mower that was, was throwing to the curb. I'm on my way home anyway, you know what I mean? So I told him I would come by and pick it up, a free mower. Uh, I have a lot of mower bags, the Murray bags. So I figured if I can make something out of it, whatever, you know. Free! That's right, free. Okay, I'm here to pick up that lawnmower. Murray, missing the carburetor. <sighs> that deck is trashed. I can't use this. This deck is trashed. But I'm here. Might as well take it for... I don't know why I'm taking it, actually. The wheels, I guess, are okay. Maybe the engine? This thing is trash. I thought it would be in better shape than this, because the picture looked way better than this. It had a bagger, and... I think he took a picture of it when it was new, and then put it online and said, hey, I'm giving this away. In reality, it looks like this. Whatever, I'm here. If I'm here, I'm gonna take it, right? But if I knew it looked like this, I wouldn't even have bothered. But I was on the way home anyway, it's fine. Hey guys, so I'm back from my day. I didn't expect for this uh, day to have so many activities involved. I was gonna just do an engine swap on this uh, Murray Select, putting my 13 horsepower flathead and replacing the 13.5 that has 75 PSI in compression. But as you saw, Sold another tractor, sold it for $450 to a guy from uh, Maronick, uh, New York. It's about 41 miles away from here, and uh, he rented a pickup and a trailer from U-Haul. It's probably going to cost him $150 at the end of the day. But uh, whatever, it's a good tractor, mows well, and uh, I rebuilt that engine, uh, 46 cubic inches. Uh, it took 14 episodes to do that tractor, but it's a good tractor. You know, I had it listed for $575, but... Um, you know, I need to get rid of my stuff, so I'm, I'm kind of just like letting things go, you know. Uh, I guess I'm fine with it nowadays, you know. Uh, so getting rid of, them, rid of them is better than having them just sit in my backyard, you know. So I got uh, 450 for it. Uh, guy was happy. I'm fine with it, you know. And then after that, uh, I went to do a supply drop to my mom. She's uh, 79, lives in Queens by herself. And uh, while she always says that she doesn't need any supplies... I know she's just being stubborn and conservative about things, you know. Um, I got her some goodies and stuff. Uh, meat, poultry, um, produce, fruit. She likes Doritos. Got her some Doritos, planters, nuts, you know, um, lots of toilet paper, paper towels, a uh, bunch of other stuff too. So uh, I went to go see my mom. We were like 20 feet away. She was at the door. I was outside. Just drop off the packages. She opens the door, takes the packages in. I told her to wash her hands before she touched all that stuff and not to touch her face. So it was good to see my mom again. I hadn't seen her. I haven't seen her in like uh, two and a half, three weeks, you know. So uh, maybe I'll do another supply drop to her in a week or two, you know, uh, when she depletes the current supply. Um, then after that, I went to go pick up that piece of junk uh, Murray mower that I thought looked better in the pictures. He had a picture of like when it was brand new or something and then gave me that piece of junk. But whatever, it's free. And I was there already, so I had to take it, you know. Could use the parts off of it, maybe. Um, then before that, uh, Frank, the UPS guy, came came through. Uh, he found another tip for me. It was a MTD ground blower that had a bad handle on it. I think I could probably fix it. It'd be great if that thing just ran normally, right? And that the only reason why they threw it out was because they were using it and the handle broke. And then they threw it out. So maybe the engine works just fine, you know? And I just got to fix the handle and that'll be it. Uh, it was it looked like it was in pretty good shape, you know what I mean? So I'm pretty happy about picking that up. Um, and then, uh, of course, I, I just came home from uh, helping my friend Andy and Jericho uh, take his old washing machine from the basement out and then put the new washing machine back in. So that took a while. It was kind of fun. I had gloves, masks. We all did. Um, kids stayed away from us. And... Um,
So if you guys haven't seen, so if you guys haven't seen my previous videos on um, my using automatic transmission fluid in my slow leak tractor tires, fronts and rears, the six inch in the front, the eight inch in the back, right? Uh, one of my subscribers, Rick Broman, told me, hey, Henry, you should try automatic transmission fluid. And I'm like, you know, I've heard of that, but I never actually tried it. Once I tried it, I was blown away on how great it works. Um, no more slime or fix a flat for me. I'm just using ATF now for my slow leak tires, you know? Uh, if the leak is really bad, right? Hi, guys. Um, for slow leak tires, it works great. But if your uh, dry rotted tires are so bad that um, you could see the hole, you know what I mean? Then ATF is probably not going to work. Um, if you pump up your tires and then the next day you come out and you could feel like a lot of it has gone, but it's not completely flat yet, it's like a slow leak, you know? Slow leaks sometimes take them a week for it to, you know, go flat. But if um, it goes flat like an hour after you've put air in it, that's a pretty bad leak. You could try it too, but I don't think it'll work. So only for slow leak tires do ATF, does ATF work. Uh, why does ATF work? Well, I'm going to tell you right now, uh, but for the people who don't, uh, have not seen my videos on how to put the ATF in, here's a previous episode. Uh, a few episodes ago, I was just trying to get my uh, front tractor tires, the ones that have a slow leak, just get them all fixed, you know, because I have so many tractors back there that I know I'm going to need a replacement tire here and there, you know. All I need it is for it to hold air. I don't care about the cracks or the dry rots and all that stuff. As long as it holds air, I'll be able to ride the tractor around the yard, you know? So um, I had just pumped this up simply last time. And while it holds air, right, after a week or so, it goes kind of flat. I mean, it still has like 40%, 50% air still in there. So it's a very slow leak. Uh, somebody that I know, one of my subscribers, told me that I should try automatic transmission fluid. So this is uh, ATF and it's uh, semi-synthetic from my friends over at Lucas Oil Products. I had bought a container of slime. I used it. It seemed to work okay as long as you take the rim off and you slosh it around the sidewalls and stuff. It ought to kind of work, you know. So this was an empty bottle of slime, but I knew that I would need this container someday with the nozzle that you can stick right onto the uh, valve of the uh, tire. So I just filled this up completely with this uh, semi-synthetic automatic transmission fluid. That's right, alcohol, tobacco, and firearms. So it's in here, see? So since this has a slow leak, very slow, I figure I'd try it, you know, just for the hell of it. So I'm gonna take the valve out of here. I'm not gonna, I... That's right, mana. <laughs> take this valve out. I don't hear any air come out. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to put like, uh, so this is a 24 fluid ounce. They always recommended that you put eight fluid ounces of uh, slime. So that would be four uses per, right? Four times eight is 32. Well, that's not right. All right, maybe three. Three times eight is 24, yeah. So three fills. I'm putting an abundance in here. An abundance of caution. All right, so I put about, I don't know, yeah, a third in there, so about eight ounces. I'm going to put the valve back in again. Slosh it around, because, you know, ATF is a lot more liquidy than slime would be. Slime would be more syrupy, right? Well, I guess ATF is kind of liquidy, too. But if I slosh it around so that it uh, will seal the beads, 
around the rim. Maybe that'll work. And I'll pump it up with some air. And then give it her, and, and then wait 24 hours, two days. See if it held the air. See, that's pretty, that's pretty good right there. I'm going to make sure that all this ATF is filling this tire. Not only that, this is fun. <laughs> so, uh, let's see if this works, you know? Tomorrow I'll let you know. Just wanted to do an update on this uh, front six inch tractor wheel that I took off of something. It had a slow leak. And so what I did was I took the advice of one of my subscribers who said, hey, why don't you try uh, ATF, automatic transmission fluid, and fill up this uh, thing with about eight ounces or so, and it works just like slime. Put it in here, slosh it around. I did this yesterday, and I said that I was gonna give you an update after 24 hours. You ready for this? I pumped it up so it was nice and hard, right? works perfectly it's sealed I mean it, it's hard really hard I don't think it lost any air overnight so it sealed it really well you know so now I'm kind of a believer man 24 hours and it's solid you know what I mean so shout out to Rick Browerman who suggested that I should uh, try ATF in my slow leak tires I'm gonna go try three or four of them uh, moving forward so thanks a lot Rick Browerman for the uh, tip and uh, I'm going to be using this instead of slime from now on. You know why? Because I have an abundance of ATF. Thanks for my friends at Lucas Oil. So that's, how, so that's how you put ATF in your tires, right? Eight ounces, 10 ounces, depending on how bad the leak is. You know, just try it. You know, try four ounces. If it doesn't work, put some more in, you know? But I usually put eight ounces in a front tire, right? Six inch rim. And I'll put like 10 or 12 uh, on a the bigger rear tires, which is the 8-inch rim on either 18 or 20-inch tire. So far, I'm 11 for 11, 100%. Not one of the wheels that I've tried putting ATF in has lost any air. It holds air great. And uh, so Larry came by, and he um, dropped off the plug aerator that I lent um, Larry and Bobby to do their lawn. Uh, when I lent it to them, I didn't know the tires were in such bad shape because they were fine when I used it. But I think during the time that it sat in my yard, maybe me moving shit around, it, you know, something happened to the tire. So um, he wasn't able to really mow it all that well because he had to put some makeshift tire on there to get it going. But then uh, before he returned the plug aerator back to me, right, he went to Harbor Freight Tools and bought two new wheels for me. It's very nice of you, Larry. Thank you very much. That good friend. He's a good friend. Good friends do that, you know. Um, so I sort of help return a favor because uh, I have another friend, Brian, who lives around here in Huntington. He does the same shit that me and Jason do. He, know, he uh, does. He knows Jason too. Anyway, so he asked me if I had an upper chute to a Craftsman bagger system. Uh, I didn't have any extra, but I turned him on to Larry, who had one, and who uh, Larry says that he'll sell it to my friend, Brian, because he's my friend, for 20 bucks. And I said, that, that was really generous of him to do that, you know? But uh, the guy, Brian, says, oh, I'll give him 50 if he meets me halfway. So I think that's what they ended up doing, you know. So um, uh, that, that well, I guess, was enough to pay for the two wheels, you know, and uh, a little bit uh, extra uh, coin in his pocket, you know. So I'm glad that that worked out for Larry. Um, so Larry had a neighbor friend who's a mechanic, and he was shooting the shit with him about how ATF, he's been putting ATF in tires, and they work great. And the mechanic was like, oh, yeah. I'll tell you why. And so Larry shared it with me, and I'm sharing it with you guys now uh, with his permission. So this is uh, Larry's information that I'm, that I'm spreading and giving you guys the, uh, the scoop. Uh, automatic transmission fluid, while the main ingredient is mineral oil, right? Whatever ingredient they put in there, chemical engineers, I guess, that, that's, they'll, they'll know, right? ATF is designed to 
if your transmission is full of ATF, it's going to be fine. But if you run low on ATF fuel, your seals in your transmission will start to crack and leak. Reason behind that is because whatever is in transmission fluid, right, it swells rubber. So when you put ATF in tires that have cracks in them, it almost instantly swells the rubber up. So when the, the rubber is swollen, it makes the crack smaller, almost sealing it, if you will, with a combination of the right air tire pressure in there, right, pushing it outward, right? It lubricates the rubber, swells it, and then the PSI helps it uh, hold it all in place, you know? So even with my 46-inch yard machines you guys saw, I couldn't remove the two rear wheels off the back. So I just put the ATF in as is, put it on a jack, spun the wheels violently for a few times, you know, and then uh, even today, man, works great. Let's see. It's been three days, three days since I put ATF in here. I didn't even remove the wheel. I just put it in. Oh, man. Solid. Both of them are solid. So I'm a big believer, man. The other nine wheels that I fixed, I actually took the wheel off, put the ATF in, swirled it around sideways, both sides, right? Flipped it, bounced it with the impacts with splashes inside, flipped it, bounced it, you know? And they all work great too. But look, I didn't do that with these. And look, it still holds air very, very well. So um, ATF works great. We now know why it works great. And I will never buy slime or fix a flat ever again. However, with really bad leaks in your tire, you're still going to have to put an inner tube in there or buy an inner tube, you know what I mean? But uh, that's why. So kudos to uh, Rick Broerman and also my friend Larry for uh, a better explanation of why to put and why and how ATF works by fixing slow leaks in your uh, tractor tires. But uh, thanks a lot for joining me on today's episode. Um, still not getting to what I planned on doing this engine right over here into there. I'll try to do that tomorrow as long as nobody wants to buy anything. But uh, sales are picking up because I guess people are bored. They need something to do. Mow your lawn. We'll see you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. See you guys next time on the Mowers and Blowers. Hey guys, support my channel by a sticker. Also, follow me on Instagram at Mowers and Blowers. Check out my website. Mowers Blowers. See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers.